that we've looked at experimentally verified physical laws associated with special and general relativity, let's get into the more theoretical realm. We already mentioned tachyons in the Voyager episode, Blink of an Eye, but tachyons are also seen in lots of other examples of time travel. This goes back to the idea of causality. Remember that events that happen in less time than it would take light to travel can be due to a cause and effect relationship? But if event A and event B happen at such a distance apart that you cannot connect them within the speed of light, we can say that A cannot have caused B. However, remember that tachyons always travel faster than the speed of light, so they perpetually exist outside of this light limit and completely break the concept of causality. In Star Trek, they use tachyons constantly to indicate time travel or the breaking of causality. In Star Trek Enterprise, there's a recurring character named Daniels who's a temporal agent from the 31st century. The Enterprise crew first assessed that he could be a time traveler because he had an abundance of tachyons surrounding him. Another example is in the finale of Voyager, Endgame, when Admiral Janeway travels through a wormhole back in time to try to help rescue Voyager. They first note Admiral Janeway's appearance by a surge of tachyons coming through the wormhole, indicating some form of time travel occurring. While this is all theoretical and just fun to think about, it is an acceptable way to use tachyons to represent time travel as a breaking of causality.